Hello, I'm Joseph Alpert, Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine. I'm here today to call your attention to what I think is one of the most interesting articles in our April edition. The article is by Shear et al. and used a huge computer database of Veterans Administration patients who were receiving antidepressant drugs across a whole array of different classes of uh, these agents. And when they uh, did their analyses, they discovered that the incidence of myocardial infarction was reduced in the patients who took 12 continuous weeks of these uh, antidepressant drugs. Now, uh, the authors point out that they can't tell whether this was a direct effect of the drugs that actually reduced uh, uh, the risk for myocardial infarction, or whether it was because the patients uh, developed better energy levels because of the drugs and therefore were able to avoid uh, certain risk uh, behaviors, or whether they were better at taking their, um, their anti-anginal, anti-ischemic, and, and uh, uh, statin medicines. They couldn't tell that from the database, but it certainly raises very interesting questions for future investigation. 